Okay, hi everybody, it's Sunny, and um, it's been a busy, wild, and wonderful day, and I'll tell you more about that later. I got a lot of good news, and I should share it just in case any of you are in the same situations. Okay, but first, I have to tell you that I'm the first one here at the parking lot in our Windward Mall that is shown up for the Molokai hot bread. And I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see their truck. And then we'll proceed to go get some bread and then later I'll cut into it and let you see what it's like. And if you come to Hawaii, you have to try Molokai hot bread. It is so onolicious, brah. Okay, hold on, bye. Okay, so this is their truck. And as we approach, you're going to see all the flavors. I'll show you that on their menu board. And you can see this on their website too. So it shows you all the different combinations you can make with all the different flavors. Okay, so we're going to order some and take it home and then I'll continue to show you how wonderful their Molokai hot bread. So we got our Molokai hot bread. I got two different flavors and I'm gonna go home, carry it upstairs, and then I'll make a video of us cutting into it, okay? And I'm gonna make a little container to take to the girl that does my hair. And she's getting married in a couple weeks so she's gotta eat it now and not make her wedding dress too tight. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so we're home. And um, I'm trying to get this set up so we can get me. Uh, um, cut my head off. Ow, that hurt. Okay, I'm going to have to put it up. Oh, no, down, down, down. <laughs> <laughs> no, down. The other up. No, the other. <laughs> I'm not editing this out. Phooey. Oh, you can see the burn on my arm there. Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> yeah, make America cook again. Okay, I got my containers so that I can make one for Kristen, the nice young lady that does my hair. Okay, I have my trusty bread knife. I have what I hope is, I told her cream cheese and cinnamon. It looks like I would read this as butter, wouldn't you? Now this sometimes breads over here that look like this. Ooh, it looks like a cole. <laughs> Okole bread. <laughs> it's been called that not more than, I mean, more than once. What do you think? Does it look like an okole? Okole means bud. <laughs> okay, and then we got the blue cheese blueberry cream cheese in here it's heavy it's really heavy so we have a blueberry bud here <laughs> okay and I got my bread knife and I got paper plates and I got some water because I'm going to have to rinse my mouth out like any other good taste tester and then since I'm handling this even though I wash my hands twice since I'm handling um, food that's going to go to somebody else, I'm going to put these latex gloves on. Let me take my rings off. So how has your hump day been? Hump day is a good day in Kaneohe because we get our really awesome farmer's market at the Windward Mall. The mall that I was at just now, we're parking in the Macy's parking lot is the truck for the Molokai hot bread. Do you know that company? I think it's Kanimitsu. Anyhow, I think it was started back in 1934, 1935, somewhere in that time frame. So these people know a thing or two about good food. 
good bread. So, before I put these on, I'm going to put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. Anyhow, hope everybody's enjoying their hump day, and before you know it, we'll be back into a weekend again. So I love to have latex gloves at my house, being a little bit of a germaphobe. Um, and not only that, um, like when I mix up um, ground meat like hamburger and ground pork and stuff like that, that I'm going to make meatballs or um, meatloaf, whatever, I don't like to touch that because it gets under to your fingernails and then you have to scrub for about five or ten minutes because nobody got time to be getting sick with E. coli, right? Okay, so let's put these on. Should I teach you guys the um, Aloha Friday song? Those of you who have been uh, visiting with me for the past year, you know the Friday. And you can find it on YouTube, too. It's Aloha Friday. No more work to Monday. Do 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 do. It's Aloha Friday. No more work till Monday. Do 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 do. <laughs> okay, let's get this show on the road. Oh, let's get this road on the show. I don't know what it is. It. It's a big empty container. So feed me Molokai bread. I'm gonna put one container full in my freezer. If I can rearrange it, my freezer is maxed out. I just was able at the commissary to get some really good New York strip steaks for $3.30 each. And they're half over half a pound each. Okay, let's try. Let's try the blueberry first, okay? So I'm going to leave out of the house about a quarter to four today because Kristen um, is Pauhana. She's done work at 4.30 over there in Kailua at the Alta. So I'm taking this beautiful bread out and I'm going to cut it down the middle. Man, when I got out of the car, the chickens were chasing me. I don't know who told what lie, but I've never heard one of them at all. And they're mad at me. One of them pecked on my leg the other day. I said, ow! She didn't give me dirty stink eye. She's got like 10 babies, little tiny babies. I said, I didn't do a darn thing to your babies. You can't tell her. She thinks I did. Hey, how about this for a sandwich? Mmm. <laughs> oh, look at that. Cream cheese and blueberries. Oh, yeah. Mama, mama. <laughs> I don't know. Should I give Kristen a whole one of these? She's got her fiance to share with. Mmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a whole, a whole half, yeah? Okay, so we'll put Kristen half in here. I don't think she's getting any of my cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon and cream cheese. Okay, let's cut a piece and taste it. Now, how big of a piece do I want? Mm. Golly, that looks so yummy. And I did not eat lunch. So I can count this as my lunch calories. money shot when I cut it the other direction it oozed out cream cheese look oh yum 
This is the small piece. This is my piece. I'm going to wipe all that cream cheese off of the knife. Okay, you know what? I'm always a fail on mukbangs, right? Because even though I'm big, I get my tummy feels full fast. So anyhow, this is something I bet I could mukbang really good at. <laughs> I bet I could eat these whole two loaves in one sitting if I tried. Of course, who knows what all that many calories would do, at, you know, consuming it in one time. Maybe not a good thing. Let me try it. Stop talking, Sunny! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! <laughs> okay. Here we go. Because this comes highly recommended. A guy on um, the Facebook page. You know you're from Kani Ohe if we have a nice little community there. And he told me, Sunny, you got to try the blueberry and cream cheese. So if you're listening to me right now, this is for you, dude. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. It must be blueberry pie filling. Oh, this is so good. Uh oh. It's squirting out the backside. They put plenty. Now I have to either. Put on another pair or wash these because I licked my fingers and I have to say when you lick your fingers on latex gloves no bueno it's kind of icky okay I got a paper plate here I'm gonna sit this down you want to see it can you just imagine that soft, oh, soft, soft bread loaded with softened cream cheese and blueberry pie filling? OMG. I hear the heavens going. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> mm. Oh boy, this is good lunch. So that means this is all I'm going to have left for my house. I have to share Dennis a little piece. But he's been so good about his blood sugar lately that I'm sure he will just be happy with a small little piece. And that I probably will put in the cooler, in the refrigerator. Oh, I just smeared cream cheese all down the inside the bag. Ugh. So when I take it out of the bag... My hands are going to be sticky. All right, so that's the blueberry. Oh boy. Should I eat this in front of you or eat it later? Mm. I don't know what to do. Whether it's meaner for me to eat it in front of you. Mm. Dang, that's good. Okay. Let's check it out. We're going to try this one. And I'm not giving Kristen any of this, so it won't matter that I'm touching it with my own hands. Mostly, I'm the one that's going to be eating it. And what I thought I would do is I would cut little sections, it, you know, nice moderate size and um, put them in here and then freeze them and then when I get um, hungry for um, cinnamon roll I can just yeah it's got cream cheese I can just thaw it out and um, have a cinnamon roll because these are basically like cinnamon rolls so I'm gonna take this one uh, gonna slice this okoli in half. 
kind of feel like one of those magicians. Get the girl in the box so I can cut her in half. Okay, so here you can see all of the brown sugar and cream cheese. <sighs> Smells heavenly. Okay, so I'm going to cut them um, in chunks about this big and put them in there. So I'll use this for my demonstration. Now, it doesn't look very fancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is better than Cinnabons. Better. Mm. You know how sometimes Cinnabons can have too much cinnamon? I mean, it just almost takes your breath away it makes you like that is just so strong this is just perfect mm -hmm. this is really really good if you like cinnamon and cream cheese and cinnabons try this out when you come to Hawaii I don't know if they have um, trucks on the other islands I'd have to find out but I know if you're on Oahu, just go to Facebook page for Molokai Hot Bread. And you'll find their um, schedule of where they are going to be at what time. And um, you can, wherever you're closest to one of their locations, you can catch them at that spot. And um, it'll also tell what the flavor of the month is. Now this month... Um, Lili Koi Chiffon is their flavor of the month and I could have had that inside here and it's kind of amazing that I didn't because um, I love Lili Koi. Lili Koi is our word for passion fruit and it's a little tart. I like it um, but you know since it said Chiffon I was like not quite sure. It might be kind of um, fluffy and then it might kind of dissipate as the bread gets older. I'm not sure how that works. And I wasn't willing to take a chance <laughs> when I wanted to taste these other flavors. Mmm. 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 I would love it if you were here and could share a bite with me. That would be so fun. Well, Maybe one day I'm going to be in the mainland and maybe we can plan something where I'm in one location and those that want to travel and meet me can come and then I can meet you guys and we can hug in real life and that would be pretty awesome. But at any rate, um, whenever you come over to Oahu, please make sure that you contact me and we can text each other and arrange to meet. Maybe at a Starbucks or something, or having lunch. That would be awesome. I can also tell you some good places to check out. Anyhow, I'm going to finish my lunch, which is, as we know, blueberry cream cheese. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they ever thought of putting peanut butter. <laughs> Peanut butter, no, no, no cream cheese though. Now you can get butter. You can get butter and peanut butter and they could have a really great jelly. Mm, that would be good. So anyhow, I'm going to say aloha for today. Love you very much. Thank you for all the new subscribers. You made my heart so happy and I'm really glad to have you here with us. And soon we're going to do a live and everybody can talk story amongst themselves and get to know the people that have uh, been in my Ohana here um, for a while can get to know you. So that'll be wonderful. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday evening and I will talk to you again real soon. Aloha!